You have to accept the fact that you are failing before you can see how to succeed. Let me tell you why. I'm Bruce Alexander. They call me Coach Bruce, and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. Um, I want to tell you that the truth will set you free. I know you've heard it a thousand times. It's such, it's so cliche. A lot of cliches are cliche for a reason. The truth will set you free. The reason why you can't see a way out of your fucked up situation is because your, your perspective isn't right. Your perspective isn't right because you refuse accountability. You refuse accountability because you are ashamed and you're failing. I'm sorry. And you are ashamed because you are failing. Then you are failing because you are ashamed and you are ashamed because you refuse accountability. Do you see where this is going? The only way to step out of this never ending cycle of shame, lack of accountability, refusal to take action is to do something. You have to take bold action and step out of the belief that you can't do anything to control where your life is going. If you never take control, then no, you will not be able to control where your life is going. ADHD parents think they get a special pass because they have a, neuro, a neurodiverse brain. Because your brain lies to you, it does not give you a ticket out of this life. It doesn't give you an, a reason. Do not engage with your wife, your husband, your children, your friends. It doesn't allow you anything. It gives you an obstacle that you must overcome to not waste this life. As long as you let it be an albatross that you wear and you let it dictate how your life goes, you will find failure. As long as you beat yourself up because you can't do things like neurotypicals do, and then allow nothing to happen because of it. I mean, I want to say you'll fail, but you won't do anything. You'll just sit there and, I don't know, rot. <clears throat> it takes one step in the right direction. That's why it's called being stuck. Because you're not moving out of the pattern that you're in. But you're scared to do it alone. I get that. I absolutely do. It took a life explosion to move me out of my pattern. And that's why I that's why I do this because I don't want people to get to the point where their life explodes and they lose everything to be moved out of the pattern that they are that I mean it is for me it is an obvious result that whenever you let life happen to you versus taking control of your life it is inevitably leading to a massive burnout or a huge explosion. At some point, the rubber is going to meet the road, and one of those two things is going to happen. And you're going to say, well, I couldn't do anything about it. I'm ADHD. Oh, you know, I can't, I can't do whatever. It's not true. You won't do. The first thing you have to do, the only thing that matters that you do, is you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision to stop maybe to commit to yourself, to commit to the life that you want to live. If you can make the decision to commit, then you can take action. If you can take action, then you can create something. If you can create something, then you can control your life. But it starts with the commit. And as ADHD parents, there is a little bit of a pass. I think that you need to throw the neurotypical standard completely out of the window. Fuck that standard. But there needs to be a standard. You need to want something more than sitting on the toilet fucking playing on Candy Crush for hours and sitting next to your spouse, you know, just binge watching YouTube videos and having zero conversation. You have to want more than just being a fucking zombie. You have to make a commitment to more. If you don't, you will always have less. More doesn't just come to you. At least not consistently. I mean, everybody catches a lucky break every now and then, right? Have you? Do you feel like your life has been lucky? Or do you feel like everything has been happening to you and you have no control of your destination? I was talking to one of my coaching clients today and, you know, he made, he made a decision. Obviously, he's committed to something because he shows up week after week. And what I realized today is that he was committed to me. We're friends. We knew each other before. He was more invested in my success than he was in his own. And today I called him to action to commit to himself. 
And I realized that because of the negative dialogue that goes on in our brain, it is harder for us to make that commitment because we don't believe that we deserve it. We don't believe that we're worth it. We've spent so much time beating ourselves up in the prison that is our own mind. We don't believe that there's any other way to live. That's not true. I'm not an ADHD coach for parents because I'm better than. I am an a I am a life sorry, I am a life coach for ADHD parents because I was that person who needed that and I didn't have it. I am an ADHD an autistic man. I still have a family, I still have all the responsibilities, but now I am engaged and passionate about my life because I took that step to engage. I took action. I just started and once again, <laughs> I'm not going to say I did it all on my own. I was I was put up against the like I was you know put in a corner like baby in dirty dancing. But I had to make a decision to act and to start making changes like actively take control of my life or to not act and lose my life, lose my children, lose my wife, lose my house, lose half of everything. That was enough. Finally, that was enough to give me the electric shock I needed to finally jump into action. I don't want that to have to happen to people for them to take action. And it doesn't need to be with me. Tony Robbins is great. Go buy one of his books. Jim Rohn has a, some really great motivational videos and books. Take action. Follow somebody's advice and actually do the associated action. You don't have to take the biggest step. Right now, you can't see that because you don't think that you can take any step. All you can see is a life that doesn't exist for you. And that's because you're afraid to commit to yourself and just take action. If you will take the small action to commit to something to improve your life, the next step will, will be revealed. But as long as you are stuck in the mind frame that I can't, I won't, never for me, then you will not be able to see what the next step looks like. I've provided an assessment tool that I think if you resonate with my message, if you like you know, the stuff I'm presenting, if you feel like what I'm saying to you makes sense, then you should go take my assessment quiz, the, the ADHD, I'm sorry, the Aimless Life quiz right now. Just click the link. It's in the bio. Go take it. And it will line out next steps for you. I'm not, it's not a commitment to do anything. There's no obligation. It is a first step and a path forward so you can see what it looks like on the other side. So you can break out of the frame of I can't, because if you can, if you can take that first step, if you can start to see yourself as somebody who has a possibility to be more, even if you don't know what that looks like, even if you don't know what your more is, but if you are able to just realize that there is more for you, you deserve more, you are worth more, from there, the next step will be revealed. But as long as you are locked in the prison of self-doubt and limiting beliefs, you will not be able to see what the path forward looks like. You'll look around and all you'll see is fault and blame and shame and fear and no way forward because you are trapped. You are trapped on a path that is not of your making because you are not taking control. It's not hard. Take control. Break the mindset you're stuck in by taking control. Make a small commitment and follow through with action. Then make a bigger commitment. Once again, you don't have to do this as a neurotypical would. You don't have to make a huge life-altering declaration and major goal. Take one small action, and then you've taken a step in the right direction. You've broken out of the pattern. You've started your call to action and your hero's journey. And as you continue on your hero's journey, you will start to you will start to receive what you need from the from the version of you that is calling from the future it will lay out the next steps for you and you will feel compelled to move forward just as you are right now compelled to stay the same one step in the right direction and the compulsion will change everything for you but if you keep if you keep allowing yourself to be controlled by your life versus taking control of your life you are doomed to fail over and over again. Let go of failure. Embrace yourself. Take a step in the right direction. Do it today. You know, 
we're ADHD. You know we're going to forget what's important to us as soon as we walk away from it. Do it right now. If you are tired of living a life that feels like it is just happening to you, do it now. And once again, if it's not me, I don't care. I'm tired of seeing ADHD parents struggling and them not being willing to take the help. It's okay if you are reaching out to somebody. I know I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to shame you. I'm not. The only thing I'm judging is your ability to take action. And I'm not saying that you suck for it. I'm not saying that you're a piece of crap. I've been there. I completely understand that's why I do this. But I am saying factually, you are not taking action and your family, your spouse, you deserve more. So take action. That is it for today. Always, always, always be yourself and love yourself. I will talk to you tomorrow.